This might be the greatest thing I've ever seen. It's like the Statue of Liberty for the Midwest. Why the hell are we even here? <laughs> Something I've always been a fan of is not having a strict plan. I know that sounds kind of irresponsible, but if you force certain things to happen, it's hard to leave room for what could happen. So before we left, we put together a few points of interest and decided to surf the waves as they came. And because of that, we found ourselves doing this at 4 in the morning. exciting stuff. Our first stop was Badlands National Park, where we decided to add something to our dumbest things we've ever done list. Okay, he's there, slugger. Okay, there's a decent amount of room up here. Oh, he's still going. Over there? Alright. <laughs> Converse were not the shoe of choice for this. Hey, slow down, big guy. Late nights in a wild town, we go in, roaming around, holding your head in my hand. Friday night, this is literally crazy. You were Miss Hollywood. I was your sheep, was your fool. That's insane. You're gonna tell me some dudes just went up there and carved that up there? It's all fake. It is, there's no way. What's up boys? Today I'm gonna be giving my presentation on, uh oh, I messed up. What's up boys? Today I'm gonna be giving my presentation on uh, Mount Rushmore cause I just so happen to be here. It's a uh, wet and cold. So let's get into it. These faces are four of the most influential people. I'm trying to give a presentation, please. These faces are four of the most influential people in the United States history. These figures behind me fought, sacrificed, and paved the way so that the good people of this country could one day eat laundry detergent. On the right, or the left, whichever one my finger points to. We have Michelle Obama, who's famous for writing a book called Becoming Michelle Obama, which I haven't read, but I'm assuming is literally a step-by-step -step guide on how to become Michelle Obama. I'm not really sure, just kind of using context clues. Next, we have my favorite Muppet, uh, the Orange Ninja Turtle. And of course, last but not least, everybody knows this guy, he's on the penny. Fozzie Bear. Abe Lincoln is totally cross-eyed. He's got the Minecraft pig eyes. Thank you for watching my presentation. I heard a train and I'm going to find it. So I just got a message from our Airbnb host saying, hope you had a good night's rest. And some other stuff. Be like... Did, did Hayden tell you what happened? Yeah. So let's recap the night. I'm laying in bed, trying to fall asleep after not sleeping for two days, and all of a sudden I hear a soft, um, how do I explain this? A questionable sound of pleasure from across the, there's a house right behind ours, and yeah, a questionable sound of pleasure, that's what I'm gonna call it. Um, so anyways, after that whole ordeal is done, I'm finally falling asleep. I'm right there, man. I am this close. And then bang, 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 bang. Someone got shot up last night. And I don't... That's all I got, man.
I'd say that's a dub for the. I look stoned. I'd say that's a dub for the first night. Avery slept through it all. I did. I did. Everybody say bye bye to Casper, Wyoming, a bye place bye. we won't forget, but do not care to remember. Bye bye. This is the scariest hallway I've ever seen in my life. We're not gonna get our security deposit back. I security deposit. <laughs> Oh, I stepped on my sunglasses. I look so tired. We're in a rock. I walked inside. Pretty sure the rule said don't touch anything. Hey guys. Hi. Chino and the gang. Or justice. That one I okay. <laughs> Get in there. Me? Yeah. Go for it. Don't jump in though. We don't no, want. You first. No, I. I insist. No, you first. I insist. I insist. You know. first. Absolutely not. You first. I, I got the camera. <laughs> I do want some arm floaties. I'm terrified it's gonna be freezing. It's like a nice. Lickety split. Lickety split. <laughs> Honestly, it is like a little nap session. We could all just lean back and play some whale noises. Did you guys like those? At first, I thought you were no. playing like. I thought. I thought it was a horror movie. I think, yeah, I think it was like. I thought it was like some horror movie thing at first. No, it was just whale noises. And I just hear her. <laughs> like, shut up. Yeah, open your eyes under and tell me if it hurts. Home sweet home, boys. So we just started our trail. And we were immediately met by someone who asked us if we knew the show Ancient Aliens. Have you ever heard of that one? I have not. Okay, so supposedly Otsland is someplace in the center of this island. So I'm going to be up here all summer long. I'm looking for ancient symbols. Okay. Aztec symbols. I appreciate you sharing. Thank you. So walk around with your hands like this, an actual cup as you're walking. All okay. right. So you can feel the energy. Once you hit that energy spot, go investigate it. Now we've got some, I don't even know, we got some lore about the area. We see any ancient symbols, boy. We going to space. Oh, lizard. That was so fast. We'll find out. So we're on the right trail now. That's where we're headed. Almost to the top, right? That's how far you're going. No way. If it's that rock, <laughs> Safe travels, guys. It's a bufalice. I wonder what he's thinking about. I almost say everyone is. That's how they talk to the aliens that that guy was talking about. It's right there, boys. I think we've been duped a few times, but this one may be it. June 1st, 2022, Justice Avery and Hayden from Wisconsin, 4.34 p.m. We did it. We got ourselves here, together a milestone in our journey as we venture through this beautiful world. I don't know what the future brings for us, but what matters is that we're here now. Boys, we're at the top of a freaking mountain. On an island, in the middle of a desert. Yeah, a desert lake. 
surrounded by mount more mountains. There's this unique sort of thrill that comes with entering the unknown. It reminds me of being a little kid, when everything feels new and exciting. I think one of the biggest differences that separates an adventure from a vacation is not knowing what's going to happen. The freedom of not having a strict plan is liberating. You remove potential barriers, allowing yourself to experience and grow. I got his tail. Mexico. She is going to burn down a <laughs> nursing home. <laughs> your turn. No, it's your it's turn. It's your turn. Oh, I said home. Oh, okay. Because. No, it's new sentence. No, oh. because. <laughs> okay. No, wait, we said, if I don't go to Mexico, she's going to burn down a nursing home. Because. 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 <laughs> Maybe there's a comma in there. I don't yeah. know. Don't because. Think. She. Lost. Please understand where I'm going with this. Her. Virginity. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not. That's where I was going with it. Actually, yeah. Was, what okay. were you going for? I was going for the Amber Heart. Oh, oh dig it.